Hello everyone, today is Saturday, August 1st, and it's going to be a crazy busy day. Right now it is at 10 o'clock in the morning and I've already run and done my workout for the morning and showered, so that is a good first step. Next, I'm going to eat some breakfast and then I need to start doing a lot of things in preparation because we leave for our trip to Colorado tomorrow. I have just some housekeeping things I need to do here. I'd like to clean up my room so I can come back to a clean room. I kind of want to like vacuum, make my bed, just straighten up, all that kind of things. Um, I also need to go to the library and to the bank. I need to go through all my cameras and delete some videos and photos off my phone and just kind of clear up my computer a little bit just so I have some storage because I want to take pictures and videos and everything. All those devices are honestly just cluttered and I want to get that taken care of before we leave tomorrow. And then I need to make a few just weekly plans. I want to kind of get my August set up. Um, so when I come back I have like a set schedule and certain days I have certain things to do already planned out. And then I need to pack. I haven't started packing at all. I need to find time to do that. So let's get started with this day. Step one, eat breakfast because I am starving and I'm also so parched. just finished my breakfast and so now I'm just going to sit out here on my deck and do a little bit of planning, setting up my bullet journal for August. I'm also kind of creating a little to-do list that I need to get done today and I have a couple of things I need to add to that. everyone I am now headed to the bank and the library but I'm in a slight rush because the bank closes at 12 I was not aware of that and it's 11:30, so I need to book it it is also so much hotter than I thought it was gonna be today I thought it was supposed to be really rainy and only 80 but it's humid and it feels like 100 <laughs> okay I need to get going so let's go okay we got to the bank in enough time it's only 11:35 now so i'm going to go ahead and grab myself a coffee because i was craving one this morning and i had no cold brew made at home so i'm going to get myself a coffee from a cute little shop that we have in town and then i'm going to run to the library Cheer with all the channels. This coffee shop is new and it is the cutest thing and I think it's really really good. I got a caramel latte. I asked for a caramelized coffee and she said caramel latte and I was like whatever sure. And it's actually really really good so I'm glad I got it. I'd say this is a pretty good size for a small. Whew. The books are secured. It is currently 11.55 so we are making good time. Look at how tall my sunflower is. I'm just waiting for it to bloom now. Hi everyone, it has been a minute since I've spoken to you, but it is now almost three o'clock and mom and I got back from going out shopping a little bit about 30 minutes ago. We decided to go out because we needed a few last minute things for our trip. We just wanted to pick up a few food items for my dad and brother. We went to Target, Food Lion, and Dick's Sporting Goods because I'm still in the process of trying to find some more shorts. And then we just got a few food items at Food Lion and then we got quite a few things at Target that I will show you. So starting with some food, we have these kind of breakfast pro protein bars. I have the apple cinnamon one right here and then the dark chocolate cocoa. 
Target is pretty much the only store that sells these flavors, so I always stock up when I go, and I'm probably going to take a few of these on our trip tomorrow. I have some Sour Patch Kids candy. We always pick out like one or two candies to take on the trip with us if we're going on an airplane or something, so I just picked up those because they're so good. And then I needed some gum. My ears always hurt flying up and flying down like a lot of people's, so I decided to get some gum. Plus, I love chewing gum, so this will be good to have on me during the trip. And we also picked up some granola from the Kind brand as well, and then we got some peanut butter M&Ms for the flight as well, but those are just downstairs. And then over here, we've got some cleansing wipes just so we can be as sanitary as possible while being in the airport and on the plane, so we have some of these. And then I got two little like travel containers for my shampoo and conditioner because they did not have any travel size of the kind that I like, so I'm just going to put them in there myself. And these are really, really inexpensive and are going to be really good for traveling just in general. And then I really, really want to take some pictures on a disposable camera, so we decided to pick one up. This one is only $11.99, which I think is a really good deal. thought it would just be something really, really fun to do for the trip, so I just picked this one up and I'm so excited to use it. Also at Target I picked up this uh, rewashable face mask because the one that I have the elastic is starting to stretch out and it's getting beginning to like slide off my face when I wear it so I just thought it'd be good to get a new one and this one was only two dollars and it's really cute so I'm definitely going to be bringing it this on our trip as well. I really can't believe it is three o'clock already and I have done like nothing to prepare for this trip so except we went shopping and everything but I haven't packed, haven't cleaned my room, haven't gotten everything together, haven't even laid anything out. So I'm definitely going to start that right now. I'm going to go ahead and start by vacuuming my room and just kind of straightening everything up, which I think having a cleaner room will give me a straighter mindset on what I have to get done. It is now 7.15 and I have um, <clears throat> somehow still managed to do very little in preparation for the trip. Um, so right now I'm going to actually go clean out my car, get anything out that I may need for tomorrow, and then just kind of make it a little bit nicer so again I have the space that I actually want to go back to. I still need to put away all my laundry and pack everything and just kind of set out everything. So that'll be an activity for this evening, probably when it's dark outside because it's so nice outside right now and I'll spend some time with Finn before we go. Since the last time I filmed, I have actually cleaned up my room. My room was in a clean state. It actually wasn't as disorganized as I thought it was, which is great. So I did that, and then we watched a little bit of The Office, and then we went to go pick up dinner, and we ate dinner. Let's go clean the car. better. Here we are enjoying some ice cream cake. don't want to put all these clothes away because I'm going to be packing some of them. I don't know the best way to do this.
It is now almost 12.30 and I have my suitcase packed, but now I'm going to pack my carry-on. Um, I'm not exactly proud of how I packed my suitcase. It's quite large and I'm only going to be there for six days. And I was thinking just because we're doing a bunch of like outdoorsy things, I would not have as stuffed a suitcase as I typically do. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Might be because I'm bringing like 24 t-shirts, but good options. I have to run, so I need like a t-shirt for running and a t-shirt for the day, and you just never know. So far, these are the things I'm putting in my carry-on. So I have my hard drive, some wipes, my e-note, which I'm going to attach to my carry-on, a newspaper section I want to read, my two books I'm bringing, and then the disposable camera. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my toiletries and makeup now. I can't pack all that stuff yet because I need some of it in the morning since I'll be taking a shower in the morning after I run, but I can at least start. Alright, this is everything I have right now. Everything is pretty much packed up. Like I said, I have a few cosmetic things I need to put in my carry-on when I'm done tomorrow morning, and I just have a few things downstairs like my AirPods, my phone charger, that kind of thing. Well, I've had an interesting start to our day of our trip. So I was walking Melba and Harper this morning and they like mom so much. So they wanted to like come back to her cause they saw her like stay at home and I was the one walking them and they wanted to like come back to her. So they kept on like falling behind me and I had to like keep like pulling them forward. It was working for the first like third of the street. Then all of a sudden Melba decides to stay back so far that when I like try to pull him upwards, his collar slips off. Well, I didn't think he was going to dart, but oh, he did. So he turned around and started sprinting up the street. So me and Harper have to turn around and start chasing him. Harper wants to go faster than I can go. And Melba's going so insanely fast, and I'm screaming, Melba, Melba, Melba. And this is at like 7.30 in the morning, so I'm probably disrupting all the neighbors. And he sprints all up the street to the big road, and then he crosses it, and there's cars coming. I'm like, oh, geez. And I'm like screaming at him. I'm like half hyperventilating. So then me and Harper cross the street, and Harper's, of course, pulling my arm off. I go over to the side of the street and I call mom, I'm like, Mom, I know Melba's going away, blah, blah, blah. And then I lose sight of Melba, and so Harper's like sniffing around for him. And then finally, when I'm on the phone with mom, hyperventilating and being very angry. And I see Melba, and I'm, I'm able to strap him up. And then I pull him and Harper home in a whirl of fury and anger. That was a terrible start to my morning. In other news, hi everyone. So today, I leave on my trip for Colorado. We leave around 12.30 and it's 9 o'clock right now. Me and mom just got back from our run and as I told you, it had an eventful morning. Just took a run. It was about a four mile run and it did not really feel that great. We both agreed it just didn't feel right, but we did it anyways and we're done with our exercise for the day, which is good because we're just going to be sitting on an airplane for a couple hours this evening. So basically wanted to film this video um, first for like memory purposes because I love filming this kind of thing and looking back on it and also because I think it'd be really really interesting to document what it's like to be in an airport and on an airplane during this pandemic of course while taking all the necessary precautions which we will definitely definitely be doing so um, yeah I think this should be an interesting video and I'm excited to film it and show you guys our day everything that we need to do to finish preparing for it and yeah to finish off my working out today I'm going to do just a 10 minute ab workout Somehow, everything is in the backpack and the suitcase. The suitcase, I don't think, fits the regulations of a carry-on, and that's a personal bag. I feel like I've been calling that a carry-on, but that's just a personal bag. I don't think it fits the dimensions, so fingers crossed that they don't look too closely. And then here is my cozy airport outfit. I'm just wearing this t-shirt from Urban Outfitters, these shorts from H&M, and then my Air Forces. Mm -hmm. 
Right now it is 12 o'clock and we're probably going to leave in the next 15 or 20 minutes so I'm going to heat up some lunch to take for the car ride and then we're probably gonna go. made it to the airport so now we will see what it's like during a global pandemic all right we're gonna test out my new target mask today Colorado. It is 10:25, and we landed like four hours ago and we're at John's house and we're settled in and we're quite tired because at home it's 12:30. so we're looking forward to a nice lovely sleep. Everything in the airport was pretty smooth. Everyone wore a mask which was great. I don't think I saw one person without a mask throughout the entire airport, the entire airplane, which was extremely packed, more packed than I was thinking it was gonna be. I thought we were gonna get our aisle seat to ourselves, like, or our row to ourselves, just me and mom, but like one of the last people, when they were calling like the back part of the airplane, one of the last tricklers came in and we were like, please no, please no. And he came to our row, which I thought was surprising because there was a guy behind us who had an entire row to himself and like obviously weren't traveling with him as a stranger so I'm surprised they still put us in the same row with him because I thought they would be taking more precautions as far as that. Whatever, it was fine. I want a window seat, but what can you do? I honestly didn't feel unsafe at all traveling in the airport. Mom, did you feel unsafe? No, it was fine. Yeah, everything felt sanitary as it can be. Like I said, everyone was wearing masks in the airplane. They gave you like um, little cleansing alcohol towelettes every we got like two or three throughout the entire ride so that was good and our flight went by super fast it was supposed to be three hours and 43 minutes and i just don't think it was that long maybe time just really flew by i don't know but it was not a bad flight at all we had a nice little drive from denver to fort collins and then we finished off we finished off our evening with some homemade pizza which was lovely now we're going to go to bed and start our fun colorado adventures tomorrow